Welcome to the Rancher Mirage Library and Observatory. I'm city astronomer Eric McLaughlin, and today we're going to be exploring all the different areas and features of the observatory. This observatory was opened in March of 2018 after the city decided to expand the library's mission of lifelong learning, specifically in the direction of the sciences. The design of the facility itself is intended with accessibility in mind, with our main entrance having a fully wheelchair accessible ramp, as well as other areas in the facility itself. Moreover, the location of the observatory is right here in the heart of Rancho Mirage and is conveniently accessible to just about everyone. Now, got a quick pop quiz for you. What do you think is in that small dome there behind me? Turns out the small dome is actually just our restroom. It's always an important note when we have our tours and stargazing events for everyone to know where that is. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and head to the deck. Come on inside. Welcome to the observing deck. In this space, we give guided tours of the night sky and set up multiple telescopes to give our guests a chance to view a variety of celestial objects. Though we don't need it during the day, we use a lot of red lighting here at nighttime to preserve our night vision. This is our solar telescope. It captures images of the sun with a specialized red filter, which highlights activity above the visible surface of the sun. These images are then processed to make the subtle details more visible. We place our telescopes on these pads for viewing the sky because these isolated heavy concrete blocks with very deep foundations provide an incredibly stable platform. We could have an entire class of kids running and jumping up and down on the deck and still we would get good stable views through our telescopes. This space is great for exploring the sky but the pads out here also connect to computers inside. Follow me and we will take a look at what we do there. Welcome to the Cosmic Office, where we control all the different systems here in the observatory. joined by Lauren Zuckerberg, our Observatory Program Coordinator. Lauren, what are you working on right now? Hello everyone. Today I am working on the solar telescope as it's taking images out from the deck. So every 60 seconds we're getting a brand new image from the sun in real time. Of course, we are observing from well within the Earth's atmosphere, which means we need to take into account what that atmosphere is doing. To do that, we use this workstation here. It is connected to our weather station and is constantly monitoring what's going on in the outside air and atmosphere. With this system, we're able to monitor all sorts of different conditions going on outside in order to make sure we can provide the best viewing experience to everyone who comes here to explore the universe. Alternately, if it's actually potentially rainy outside, this system will actively close the dome and protect any equipment up there. When it comes to exploring the universe, one of the best tools at our disposal is a telescope. And our main telescope is controlled with this computer here. Using this computer, we can guide our main telescope to almost anywhere in the night sky in just a few moments. Sometimes it's helpful to see what's going on in the dome without going all the way up there. That's why we have special windows that use suspended particle display technology. When the switch is off, the window is tinted, preventing light from the cosmic office from trespassing into the dome where we may be imaging. But when we're not harvesting starlight, we can flip the switch and voila, it's our beautiful Plane Wave Instruments CDK 700 telescope.
All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at that telescope. Follow me. Now, as we mentioned before, we use this deck for stargazing and Lauren's getting that set up right now. But we come this way because there's a specific way up to the dome. Follow me right this way. This is the observatory sky bridge. This sky bridge doesn't just give us access up to the dome, it also provides a specific utility. It has a wonderful view of the northern horizon, which allows us to look for objects that might be lying low on that side. Sometimes the International Space Station, for example, likes to fly nice and low there. Now, as we head on up, one quick reminder, we mentioned our weather station downstairs. As you can see behind me, it's located right above the door here. All right, let's head on in. Welcome to the Observatory Dome. This is the home of our plane wave instruments, CDK700. This sizable instrument is driven by direct drive motors, and while it is generally guided by the computer we saw before, often it is very helpful to have a bit of manual control. Yes, we use this gamepad to do fine adjustments of the telescope to ensure that objects are centered in the eyepiece. When used at full speed, you can see how the motors actually lack gears, belts, sprockets, and chains, and that ensures that it can move both quickly and quietly to wherever we send it. Nevertheless, fancy motors and controls alone do not make a good telescope. A good telescope needs good optics first and foremost, and this telescope has quite the set of mirrors and lenses. Arranged in a corrected dull Kirkham design, this telescope has a primary mirror of 0.7 meters or 27 and a half inches in diameter. This large diameter ensures that we collect a lot of light to make viewing and imaging dim, distant objects much easier. Our telescope, like most reflecting telescopes, works by using a series of mirrors to bring light from the sky down to the eyepiece. The light enters through the opening in the dome, travels down the tube, all the way to the primary mirror at the back of the telescope. The light bounces off the primary mirror and up to the secondary mirror, where it bounces back into the tube to a third mirror. And it uses a Nazmuth focus, which sends the light out the side of the telescope through this periscope down to a height that is even wheelchair accessible. Likewise, when we want to take pictures of celestial objects, we take the mirror that sends the light out the side of the telescope, and we flip it 180 degrees to send the light out the other side to our imaging suite of cameras. Did you know that a light year is actually a distance? One light year is the distance that light travels in one year, about 5.9 trillion miles or 9 trillion kilometers. Our telescope can see as far as 350 million light years into space. And with that, we hope you enjoyed your time here today. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of our- Wait, where's the light? Oh, that is an excellent question. Let me show you. When the dome needs to remain closed, we use our integrated space theater, which is a system of seven projectors, four speakers, one subwoofer, and one specialized computer. 
the many hours of creative design that come together to display short, visually stunning astronomical films on the inside of the observatory's closed dome. This system also allows a real-time customized journey through outer space. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Rancher Mirage Observatory. We hope you had a good time and we hope to see you again here for a journey through the universe.